what's up everybody, this is C-Spray, I'm here yet again to do a Dark of the Moon Transformer review. Today we're going to take a look at Cyberverse Legion Size Ratchet, or Autobot Ratchet. Very nice mold, this is a new mold from the pre-existing 2007-2009 uh, versions, and uh, just different, it's a nicer mold, has a little bit more personality, and a little bit looks a little bit more like, I guess, uh, the movie, in a sense. The, the face looks kind of funny to me, but... We will see when I take it out of the package, because they look so much different when you take it out of the package. But you can just see them on the back there, Robot in his truck mode, his Hummer mode. And it just says up top here, Legion Class, Series 1, Figure 8. And as you can tell, I'm not going in any particular order of re reviewing these. Right here has a little bit of a biography. It just says, The razor-sharp mind of Autobot Ratchet has allowed him to develop healing tools that double as powerful weapons. Well, if he's so uh, good at what he does, how come he hasn't repaired Bumblebee's voice in the last three movies? But anyways, what is that, about six, seven years worth worth of time you could have healed his voice? What's up with that? Anyways, we have statistics. They just read Strength 4, Intelligence 9, Speed 6, Endurance 9, Rank 5, Courage 10, Fire Blast 3, Skill 10. Okay guys, let's just take this guy out of the package and uh, go over him in further detail and see how this guy is. Alright, well, let's do this. Okay guys, here we have Ratchet out of the package. Just give you a quick look here, he does come with some instructions, which I don't normally use. And since it's such, it's such a small figure, we won't really need it. But just to give you a look, what the uh, instructions look like. There you go. It's actually a pretty cool, it's actually, I think it's a CD, CG render render of um, the actual mold. It could be just a toy uh, transformation, but it's not drawn like how it normally is, which uh, looks looks pretty decent actually. It gives you a little bit of a better perspective on how to do things. Okay, so we will put, put that to the side. And here we have the figure itself. You know, it's, it's okay. It's, you know, it's decent. Um, I wish it had a little bit more movement. Some of the movement it does have, it's a little bit not very good. See, it has all that detail in the leg and stuff, but it looks like it could bend, but it doesn't, which is kind of sad. It doesn't even bend at the feet either. It only bends, well, I guess we can do movement and articulation right now. His arms can rotate 360. Uh, they can slightly move um, side to side and whatnot, but that's for part of the transformation, part of the doors there. The elbows are on a ball joint, and if you tweak them the right way, you can kind of get like a fist pumping, or not fist pumping, but like a crunching, a curling arm workout thing. So, you know, it's okay, but it's to be desired. Has some nice detailing though, he has a little bit of a hand sculpt there with some forearms and whatnot. But, so far, the movement in the arm is a little bit hindered, and I, and I don't like these that th these things are, aren't clipped clipped in. They should clip in, I think, because it just, you know, I guess, I, can, I guess it kind of gives you that little bit of movement and whatnot, but this molding with the way the arms are, like this, kind of reminds you of skid, Skids and Mud Flap, but anyways, the face sculpt is okay, you know, it has a little bit more, more of a face and like mouth features and stuff compared to the other one. The other one looked more of a robotic, robotic insect look, I guess, in, in some aspects, but and it, it looks okay. It's not very accurate because I think the wheels are supposed to be this is supposed to be flipped around, I think, if I'm not mistaken. So the wheels are supposed to be up by the sides of his uh, face there. But you know, his legs can go side to side, in and out. It's hindered by the back piece, but you can also move it like this and whatnot. But again, speaking of the back piece, huge backpack. A lot of detail in here, you know. You can see lots of detail throughout the legs and the arms and the body and the feet. Uh, a little bit of silver paint apps down on the lower feet. The feet look pretty cool, actually. I like the way they look. Um... See the back here. It's okay. Mm, I'm not sure if I like this one more than the, than the other one. It looks a little, little bit more better, but I don't know if I like it more. It looks kind of funny to me. And that's pretty much it. So we can jump into transformation. So all you want to do is just bring these around. Just tweak these arms around like this. Bring this back piece up. Bring in the arms, and you can now you just take these arms, kind of pull them up a little bit, and then twist them to the side. That way, they are lined up with the top of the truck. Again, with this side here, as you can see, we can now bring the lower body, which will the whole lower body kind of pulls away from the upper torso, which now can be uh, folded into the back of the truck. 
and I'm not sure if anything clips together and whatnot, but we will just form it here. Bring down the backpack on the top of the truck, which will clip into, I think, his right above his hands, there's a little slit there. You kind of want to just pop that in there. You just take these arms, as you can see, as you bring down this backpack, back the top of the truck. And there's slits in these pieces where the hands are. As you can see, there's a hand. There's, for his hands, actually, there's an open palm and there's a closed like, fist. And there's also these pieces that are slightly above his hands up here. For that, there's slits on the opposite side of it. And all you want to do is just bring them up and just slide them into the top of the truck piece like that. We can now adjust the legs, and there's actually slits here and here in the back of the ankles, back of the feet. You now I want to just bring them and put them in there. Make sure everything is aligned. The head is like that too, all you want to do is just pop down the head. And there you have Ratchet's Hummer Mode. It's, it's cute actually, it looks pretty decent. Um, the windows are slightly paint app is not very good on there looks like it's broken but it's not um, it's decent it doesn't look too bad you know it's cute I think it's a little bit smaller in truck mode than the other the 2007 one but it rolls pretty good decent enough it's kind of funny it's like pretty much half a bot in truck mode pretty much you see the nice E4 logo fire rescue that same kind of weird limish taco guacamole green color it's too bad these feet don't fold up or anything like that but it's all right here with kind of a blue metallic windshield and side windows see the detailing up here with the lights and a little tire and whatnot four tires that do roll and um, a little Autobahn singing in the front there silver one and that is pretty much it on this guy so we're just gonna bring him back into his robot mode so all you want to do unclip stuff as you can see, clip the arms, and clip the arms, bring the arms around, pull down the backpack. As you can see, it's very easy. Like, come on, it's not very hard. Twist the arms around, pop up his head, and there you have Ratchet in his robot mode. Decent figure. Um, I'm not sure if you're benefiting your collection by getting this one if you already have the other ones that came out, but it's decent enough, and if you like Ratchet, this is probably good for you. I'm not a big fan of it, but I did find it on sale, which is always a good thing. Always try and find your figures on sale. Never try and never, never pay full price if you can't buy in bulk online. That's it on this guy. Do I recommend him? Yeah, I recommend him. He's okay. But I wouldn't say he's one of the best Legion Cyberverse figures out there. Leadfoot, I think, so far is the best Legion's figure. But this is number two that I own. That it's opened actually. So, anyways, this is Seaspray. Thanks for watching my video review on Transformers Dark of the Moon, Legion's uh, Cyberverse Ratchet. Take care. Um, do all the good stuff. Leave a comment. Give this video a thumbs up if you wish. Share this video with your friends on Facebook and whatnot. Subscribe. Leave a video response with anything related to the video. And that's it. Alright, I'll catch you guys later. See ya on the next review.